Hello and welcome to another update video about QNT. QNT broke now below the $112 level. That was sort of the signal level. Yeah, a sustained break below. That was the signal level that something isn't quite right here and that probably the yellow count, the yellow wave count will be in control. That would send us down, in my opinion, first to around $100, which is a key support level, a key test level. Again, it's a psychological level. Um, we hit the $100 level before here in December, sort of twice, yeah, and then here in November also, you know. Um, we also identified in a previous video this um, head and shoulders pattern, which is now complete. So in this head and shoulders pattern, um, if that plays out, and it would if we break below that ascending trend line, the neckline, um, it could send us down into this long-term support area that we identified before before 60, between 61 and um, $94, basically, right? Now, again, it's all probabilities, and I think we're just about to sort of break and invalidate that blue wave count. It basically nearly is invalidated. The break below $112, of course, was only the signal that things aren't going all right. Um, and then a break below the, what is it? What level is it here? The um, swing low of the... 10th of March here, around $106. That would be the official invalidation. And I think we're on a good way to do it. Um, it's just not 100% confirmed, but below $106, it is invalidated. So I'm already starting to lean towards the yellow count. Yeah, sort of the $112 level was the pivot beef between, okay, we're in the blue count, which would send us higher into the $200 plus region or the yellow count, which can send us down lower into the region between $94 and $61. I don't see any long-term problems with Q&T as long as we're holding $61. So there's a large area um, that Q&T can use, currently still labeled as the alternative. Um, this drop down yeah, here as an alternate count, whereas the primary still sees the wave two over here. And it is a really difficult chart. I mean, all of this price action to the upside is pretty corrective, especially um, not getting off the ground and considering now breaking the $112 level. Of course, you know, it can still turn around. You know, anything can happen in these markets. It's all about probabilities. Now, it's broken below that key Fibonacci level, that 78.6 FIB level, which would, again, make me prefer the yellow count now. Um, we always have to, you know, go with the... Um, understand where the pivots are and what, what you know, where do probabilities shift. And um, we're still holding the trend line though, this ascending trend line. And that is the neckline that would be required to break to make this head and shoulders pattern play out. So yeah, there is not much more to, to update. Obviously we had a few frustrations with um, QNT already over the last few weeks because it just didn't, it just didn't get off the ground really. It just didn't rally impulsively. But support it hold now, it, it broke now. So for me, it's um, more likely now to get that breakdown. Just I think the last level that, or the last, um, yeah, the last level that prevents it from really breaking down now and head into that lower support area here is this ascending trend line that we already discussed in previous videos. But for now, um, there's a really good chance it's gonna head down lower because we have a sustained break below $112. Whenever that happens, you know, a sustained break of the 78.6 retracement, then you can normally expect it to fail this upside setup. However, it doesn't mean it needs to fail straight away. Um, if this is now a fifth wave to the downside and if this yellow wave four topped here as an Elliott wave triangle, then the move down is probably unfolding as a five wave move and um, you know it would not happen in a straight line but ideal target would be in my opinion anything below the 94 dollar level which was here the um, low of the 14th of november all right that's my update about q t hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye